Hi, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Just a little quick video uh, today. I just wanted to um, pay my respects to one of my favorite musical artists ever, David Crosby, um, who passed away uh, just a few hours ago, really. Um, such a sad, such a sad, 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 sad day. He was an absolute, uh, he was an absolute hero. Um, I first became aware of David Crosby in, uh, to be honest, in, in Crosby, Stills and Nash and Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. Um, and, um, yeah, I just quite, I, I grew to love, you know, everything, everything that band did, uh, certainly their first two, two albums and then the live album, um, just amazing, Four Way Street, the live album, absolutely amazing. And, um, this album here released in 1971, this is actually, um, in 2001, it was this album, this exact album, that caused me to join eBay, uh, to sign up to eBay. I'd seen it on there. Um, and it was, uh, basically, it was a still sealed um, original pressing. And I'd become aware of what original pressings sound like and just had to have it, and, and you know, consequently registered with eBay, um, signed up and bought it. It cost me... $71, and that was back in uh, July 2001. You can see it's got its original advertising in the sleeve, and then um, and here the record, which, you know, is, is well, it's, it's, it's still near mint. I can see a bit of dust on it there, like, just light dust, but um, just, an, it is just an absolutely magnificent and fabulous album. It really, really, really is. Um, just one of the greatest albums ever, and um, we look at who's on it. I mean, you've got you've got Graham Nash, you've got Neil Young. Um, you know, from your, your Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Um, but you've also got, you know, look, Phil, Phil Lish, Mickey Hart, um, Jerry Garcia from uh, The Grateful Dead. You've got Jack Cassidy, uh, uh, Yorma Kalkinen, never know how to pronounce his name, um, from, uh, from the Jefferson Airplane. And, um, you know, there's Joni Mitchell, there's Grace Slick, from the airplane, Bill Grootsman from, from the dead, Neil Young, I said Neil Young already, haven't I? Um, just, I mean, it is just, it's literally everyone who was anyone in that kind of scene um, is on this album. And it is just, it is an absolute magnificent kind of, um, coming together of, of, of just a, a whole beautiful scene to celebrate, you know, um, with this, with this beautiful man. Um, side one, Music is Love. Written by Graham Nash, Neil Young and David Crosby. I mean, it's, you know, you see, it's pretty much a Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young album. Um, cowboy movie, David. It's just, I mean, it is just track after track after track. It's spellbindingly good. I'll tell you a little story. I was, um, Back, uh, back in my day job, maybe it's going to be a similar time about 20 years ago. I used to work with a guy called Andy Giles, who does PR in the hi fi industry, or did do, he's retired now. And he had an old, very early 70s Porsche 911, I think it was about 72. And we'd actually driven up to uh, a meeting. Now, Andy, funny enough, he had this old Porsche, but he didn't drive. Um, he kind of had it on his driveway as an ornament. So I drove it. So there we are driving back from a meeting, which was up in the sort of um, Oxfordshire, Gloucestershire kind of borders, um, near Letchlade actually. And um, we're driving back from this meeting and um, I was driving. We we're on the fast, in the fast lane of the M25, um, or the overtaking lane, if you want to be technically correct. 
And um, we're having such a great time blasting this music out, singing along. What I didn't realise is um, the petrol gauge on the car didn't work and we actually ran out of petrol on the fast lane pretty much during rush hour of the M25, which is kind of quite embarrassing, quite funny. But this is what we were playing and this is what distracted us. Um, a phenomenal album. And um, and then sometime afterwards, sometime after that, actually, another little, just a little a little thing about this album, just so uh, how important it is to me. Um, Hi-Fi News magazine uh, started this sort of, um, you know, they, they didn't run it for very long, actually, but uh, it was like the inside back page. It would have like industry people um, talking about their top 10 albums. Um, I can't remember if I was first or second up. It was I was very, very early on in the series. Um, I think it was in two thousand December two thousand and five was the issue I was in. And I'll I'll put a I'll lay a picture, just a very brief picture. You won't want to read it, it's pretty you know, whatever. But the point is you can see here we are, number one. This was my favourite album at the time. Um it's still an absolute favourite. Um I think it was this album that I got one of those classic records for single sided 45 rpm versions of which uh, it was you know there was too much too much hassle to be changing the record so many times um i couldn't be bothered with it but um it's just it is an absolute classic this remains my reference keeper copy the uh the, the you know a a bought from new new old stock certainly um us original and David Crosby, I mean, you know, music is love, absolutely. You brought love into the world and, um, you know, you'll be remembered for, for a long, 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 long time. And uh, your memory lives on with us all, I'm sure. Your memory lives on. Um, rest in peace, David. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful man. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this little um, tribute and uh, I will see you back soon. Thank you. Goodbye.